Battle of the Brains presented by Virginia 529. Central Virginia's Ultimate High School Academic Quiz Show. Today's match features Princess Anne High School versus Riverbend High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's High School Academic Quiz Show. Today's show kicks off round two of our season. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Cavaliers of Princess Anne High School, coached by Jason Tomek. With about 1,800 students, Princess Anne High School is in Virginia Beach. The school accommodates severely handicapped special education students from across the city and the International Baccalaureate Magnet Center. Also with us today, the Bears of Riverbend High School, coached by James Conley. Riverbend High School is one of five high schools in Spotsylvania County near Fredericksburg in Northern Virginia. It's home to one of the Commonwealth's 19 governor's schools. A big welcome to all of our students and congratulations on making it to the second round of play this season. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before giving their answer. Any interruption of a question with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, welcome again. Let's go with the first toss-up round. Joshua Tree National Park is located in which U.S. state? Trevor. Nevada. That is incorrect. Riverbend? Cassie? Colorado. It's actually in California. What entertainer was born Stephanie Germanata? Liam? Lady Gaga. Correct. The logo of this international rights organization is a burning candle surrounded by barbed wire. Trevor? Amnesty International. Correct. They won the 1977 Nobel Peace Prize. Accounting for nearly 80%, which country, the fifth largest in the world, is the world's largest producer of orange juice? Liam. Uh, Brazil. Correct. It is a list of the works that you've referred to when writing a term paper. Liam. Bibliography. Bibliography is correct. After the 1822 death of her husband in a boating accident in Italy, Aubrey. Mary Shelley. That is correct, the creator of Frankenstein. We owe this term to the famous astronomer Sir John Herschel, who used it in a lecture before the Royal Society in 1839, the year the process associated with the word became public. What is this term, which is a combination of the Greek words for light and... Liam. Photography. Correct. Light and writing. The French national flag has equal-sized vertical stripes of what color? Aubrey. Red, blue, and white. Correct. Bleu, blanc, et rouge. What civil rights icon after serving 27 years as a political prisoner in Robben Island Prison, Trevor Nelson Mandela, was elected the first black president of South Africa, correct. This area has two coasts formed by the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. What is the name of this area located at the end of South America, Trevor? Tierra del Fuego. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Riverbend and shared by Argentina and Chile. Uh, Cassie. Patagonia. That is correct. It is the largest island in the contiguous United States. What is the name of this island that contains both Brooklyn and Queens? Liam. Long Island. Correct. All right, teens, please turn your attention to the monitor for a video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. You must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Featured in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Glenn Campbell scored a crossover number one hit with this 1977 song. Trevor. Southern Nights. Oh, and you sing it for us too. Good job. That is correct. Which Canadian province is the largest in total area? Liam. Quebec. Correct. At roughly the size of Alaska. New, most New World monkeys, which range from Mexico through South America, can be distinguished from their Old World or African cousins by the fact that they are possessed by... Trevor. Tail. That is correct. Prehensile appendage, a long grasping tail. An armoire is a type of ornate wardrobe. Trevor. A-R-M-O-I-R-E. That is correct. <laughs> I was, I was gonna, you knew I'll that I was going to ask to spell it. All right, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is 10% of 20% of 100? Trevor. Five. That is not correct. Riverbend? Cassie. Two. That is correct. In poker, what is the makeup of a full house hand? Morgan. Um, a uh, pair are uh, three and a uh, pair. That is correct. Three of a kind and a pair. 
The alphabet for this language has only 12 letters and one additional symbol, the okina. Name this indigenous tongue of America's 50th state. Cassie. Hawaiian. That's correct. Which Caribbean country was once ruled by Spain and the dictatorship of Fulgencio Batista? Cassie. Cuba. Correct. Schubert wrote five, 15, rather. What name is given to works written for groups of four performers? Liam. Quartets. Correct. That buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. Good job by our team so far, but a lot more questions to come. Up next, we'll introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Stay with us. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Princess Anne High School with 130 points. The judges have ruled that the question, the answer they gave, uh, De T Tierra del Fuego was correct, but we are going to throw out that question because we also got a correct answer on the other side. So 130 for Princess Anne and Riverbend with 50 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. First, our team from Princess Anne High School. They are the Cavaliers. Their coach is Jason Tomek. First up is Amar Hussein, who is a senior. Amar plays volleyball, is currently reading Atlas Shrugged, and plans on studying electrical engineering. Morgan Neely is a senior, is a member of the Princess Anne football team, is an international baccalaureate student as well. Our team captain is Trevor Dar, who is a senior. He's a self-published author and researcher, is presiding attorney general of the Boys State of Virginia in 2023 Coolidge Senator, and plans to double major political science and astrophysics. And wrapping up our team is Liam Senzon, who is a senior, hopes to study labor law and become a union attorney, and is passionate about studying American politics. That is our team from Princess Anne High School. Now, our team from Riverbend High School, they are the Bears. Their coach is James Conley. First up is Aubrey Trubenbach, who is a senior. Aubrey is a member of the French Honor Society, enjoys ballet, judo, and Gothic art architecture. Emma Lore is the team captain. Emma is a senior, very involved with the French language program, has served as president for the French Honor Society, and attended the Summer Governor's French Language Program. No wonder she knew the flag. <laughs> and is president of the Riverbend National Honor Society. Next up is... Anthony Mugavero, who is a senior, participates in competitive year-round swimming for the Stingrays team, also swims for Riverbend High School, and is hoping to study biomedical engineering. And wrapping up our team is Cassie Margalit, who is a senior. Cassie enjoys reading and writing and is active in the French Club and French Honor Society and plans to study linguistics. Great job for all of our teams so far in our round two competition. They are starting off our round two. Now for the category round, each team will select 10 question category from today's choices. And if they get all of the questions correct in the allotted time, they'll get a 20 point bonus. Teams, take a look here at the categories from which you may choose. They are people born in 1955, our solar system, and which continent is, is it on? Now we do note in this category round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. There is no deferring, and by the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category, so that would be our team from Princess Anne. So Trevor, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like. We would like which continent is it on? All right, identify the continent on which all of these following sites are located. The first is the Great Sandy Desert. Australia. That is correct. The Amazon River. South America. Correct. Mount Vesuvius. Europe. 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 Correct. The Nile River. Africa. Africa. Correct. The Mojave Desert. North America. Africa. North America. Correct. Lake Victoria. Africa. Africa. Correct. The Ganges River. Asia. Correct. The Rhine River. Europe. Europe. Mount Aconcagua. Oh, that's oh, South America. Aconcagua. South America. Correct. And finally, the Dead Sea. Uh, Asia. 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 And that is correct, and that is a 20-point bonus for our team from Princess Anne High School. All right, Riverbend, it will either be people born in 1955 or our solar system. Emma, talk it over with your team. Um, people born in 1955. All right, from the descriptions, identify these people who were born in the year 1955. The first is the star actor of Die Hard. 
Bruce Willis? Correct. The Apple co-founder. Correct. Academy Award winning actress and co-host of The View. Wendy Williams. That would be Whoopi Goldberg. Known as the science guy. The lie. <laughs> Correct. Reality show matriarch and momager. Correct. White <laughs> wedding and rebel yell singer. Lawrence Kennard. That would be Billy Idol, co-founder of Microsoft. <laughs> Correct. Eruption and jump rock guitarist. <laughs> More specific. What's his first name? What? What's his name? I don't know. Eddie. I don't Eddie? Know. Eddie Van Helen is correct. <laughs> Starred in Dances with Wolves and Yellowstone. Who's the guy's um what's his name? Ask. That'd be Kevin Costner. And finally, the former Arkansas governor and father of the current Arkansas governor. Hmm? Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee is correct, but the buzzer beats you to that. All right, good job by our teams in the category round. Up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains returns. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Princess Anne High School with 200 points. Our team from Riverbend High School with 80 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. A quick reminder, a team will lose points for interrupting a question with an incorrect answer. There's no deduction if the question has been completed. And there's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. Which NFL team is called America's team? Morgan got it. Judge? We're going to throw that question out and please reset the score. All right, paper and pencil may be needed. If the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 57, what is the first odd number in that sequence? Trevor. 17. That is correct. 17, 19, and 21 equals 57. By what other name is Marvel Comics character Prince Namor better known? Morgan. Uh, King of Atlantis. That is incorrect. Riverbend. Cassie. Ant-Man. That's the Submariner. What are the only two metals on the periodic table that are not silver in color? Trevor. Gold and tungsten. That is incorrect. Ever been? <laughs> Copper and gold. That is correct. In grammar, what is par the part of the sentence which says something about the subject? Cassie. Subjective. That is incorrect. Princess Anne. Liam. Participle. It's uh, the predicate. Shoot. What? Oh. In Greek mythology, this son of Zeus served as the conductor of the dead to Hades. Morgan. Um. Hermes. That is correct. This astronomical theory was developed by George Gamow in Trevor. Big Bang Theory. That is correct, in the 1940s. University of Virginia's Who's in Treble and Yale University's Alley Cats and Whiffenpoofs are all examples of collegiate groups. Emma. Acapella. That is correct. <laughs> Style of music work. All right, teams, take a look at the monitor for video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, you must wait for the question to be completed before buzzing in. What was the first estuary in the nation to be targeted for restoration? Trevor. Chesapeake Bay. Correct. How high is the rim during a WNBA basketball game? Trevor. Eight feet. That is incorrect. Riverbend? Aubrey? Ten feet. That is correct. Act two oh has God. an infinitely looping song about a dog's tomb while two characters from act one return blind and deaf. Both acts end with the words, yes, let's go, but Vladimir and Eskon don't move. Trevor. Waiting for Godot. That's correct. The long-awaited title character who never appears. David Boreanaz, Seth Green, Pedro Pascal, Allison Hannigan, and Sarah Michelle Gellar were stars of what 1990s? Morgan. Uh, the Last of Us. 
That is incorrect. What 1990s television series? Riverbend? Cassie? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That is correct. Name the temperature scale in which zero is freezing point. Trevor? Celsius. Correct. And 100 is the boiling point. Beauty is truth. True beauty. Uh, Aubrey? John Keats, Ode on a Grecian Urn. We were looking for John Keats. That is correct. Two answers are required here. In English grammar, what two parts of speech are modified by adjective, adjective clauses? Cassie? Uh, nouns and prepositions. That is incorrect. Princess Anne? Trevor? Nouns and verbs. They're actually nouns and pronouns. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Write this down. What number does the following Roman numeral represent? M, D, C, C, L, X, X, V, I. Trevor. 2026. That is incorrect. Riverbend. Cassie. Uh, one, uh, 13, 72. It's actually 1776. King Henry VIII of England had six wives. How many were beheaded? Cassie. Two. That is correct. Anne Boleyn, his second wife, and Catherine Howard, his fifth wife. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value for a correct answer. Stay tuned to see which of our teams will go on to the next round here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head into the final round now here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Princess Anne High School with 250 points. Our team from Riverbend High School with 140 points. For this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, but so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, good luck teams. This is our final toss-up round. What will be produced, for whom it will be produced, and how it will be produced are the three basic equations. Trevor. Economics. That is correct. To what field of study? This fire-breathing creature of Greek myth was killed after the Lycian king. Cassie. Hydra. That is incorrect. After the Lycian king Iobates asked Bellerophon and his winged horse, Morgan. Mara. That is correct. The monster that formed uh, combined aspects of a lion, a goat, and a dragon. Our next question, spell Chimera. Liam. C-H-I-M-E-R-A. That is correct. In baseball, what does a pitcher's E-R-A stand for? Trevor. Earned run average. Correct. In music, a ledger line with no sharps or flats would designate what key signature? C major or A minor. C major is correct. What country music legend wrote and sang the lyric, I shot a man in Reno? Cassie. Um, John Cash. That is correct. Just to watch him die from Folsom Prison Blues. Scientists Marie and Pierre Curie were the discoverers of what radioactive element? Trevor. Radium. In 1898. Correct. What is the term for the sale of a product from one country to another? Liam. Trade. That is incorrect. Riverbend. Emma. Export. Export is correct. They comprise about 90 species and occur mostly in Madagascar and Africa. Morgan. Lemurs. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Riverbend. I guess I won't. Aubrey. Marsupials. We were looking for reptiles with an ability to change color. They are chameleons. By 1750, these followers of George Fox formed a quarter of Pennsylvania's population. Cassie. Um, Mennonites. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Princess Anne. What is this religious sect also known? Liam. Quakers. That is correct, as the Society of Friends. In 1920, she was recognized as a Christian saint by the Roman Catholic Church. Name this French hero. Cassie. Joan of Arc. Correct. Burned at the stake in 1431. The revolution of 1789, which brought an end to French absolutism. Cassie. French Revolution. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Princess Anne. Began in the reign of which unfortunate Bourbon monarch? Liam. Louis XVI. That is correct. 
Many chapters of this novel take place along Highway 66, where the protagonist's family meets Ivy and Sari Wilson, and where Grandpa Jode dies. Trevor. Grapes of Wrath. Correct, by John Steinbeck. What international internet search engine is proprietary to IMAX and iPhones? Liam. Safari. Correct. Along with his twin brother, he was thrown into the Tiber River and rescued by a she-wolf. Cassie. Uh, Remus and Romulus. Remus is what we were looking for, yes. In what building in the United Kingdom was Thomas Beckett murdered? Trevor. Uh, Westminster Abbey. That is incorrect. Riverbend. Emma. Parliament. It was actually in the Canterbury Cathedral. Name the 1815 battle, the last of the War of 1812, Trevor. Battle New Orleans. Correct. Created by Chicago hairstylist Margaret Vincy Helt in 1960, name this hairstyle, later worn by female members of the B-52s. Aubrey. The Beehive. Correct. Amy Winehouse and Marge Simpson also rocked that hairstyle. This group was founded by Bobby Seale and Hugh Newton. Uh, Cassie. Black Panthers. Correct. He was the first U.S. president to be born in the 19th century. Who was this president who held office? Cassie. Andrew Jackson. That is incorrect. Princess Anne held office from 1853 to 1857. Liam. Franklin Pierce. That is correct. That buzzer is the end of our match. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round two in this season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome the Cosin High School versus Glen Allen High School. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 200 points. Congratulations to our team from Riverbend High School for playing so well. Good job by Cassie, Anthony, Emma, and Aubrey. Our winners today with a final score of 450 points and going on to round three in this season of Battle of the Brains, our team from Princess Anne High School. Good job today by Amar, Morgan, Trevor, and Liam, and we'll see you guys in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, team. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.